back at you once again. We are changing the AVS carburetor Elderbrock out for the Holly uh, Brawler. I had this on here once before. I couldn't get it adjusted quite well at the time for some reason. And I think it's because I didn't know this is how you adjusted the float bowls. Right here, there's a sight on both of them. And so this is what we're gonna try to do again. Is there something in there? Is I'm gonna attempt to change this carburetor because it's getting too much gas. It's really hard to start. It runs when it runs. This is getting too much gas. This is 750, I believe. This is 600 CFM. And let's face it, Holly has a better response unless you go through there and do whatever you do. They're, they make meteor and rod kits for those. Um, it was supposed to be a better carburetor in a sense, kind of like a TBI system. I don't know, that's what I was told. I'm not a mechanic, so don't quote me. But we're gonna try to install the Browler. It's been sitting in the back of the garage for a while. I had it on my truck and it was running way too lean then and my engine started to heat up really bad. But again, I think there was a lot more going on there somewhere else than just the carburetor. Not 100% sure, but I'm gonna try this again to see if it will run better on here. I took the AVS that was on here and I put it on the truck. And well, yesterday, quite frankly, the truck quit running. And it's been on the truck for several weeks now, but that's not the carburetor. It's due to, I was going to change the gas tank and me being cheap, I said, well, the gas tank doesn't relatively look that bad, but it has enough rust in it where I went to go take off yesterday because it had a charging system on the alternator here. It had a, um, a situation that, uh, uh, and, and I'll go into a video, okay? I'll go into a video with this about how to uh, wire up your alternator from a three three plug alternator situation to a uh, one wire. This is a one wire now. But yeah, if you guys don't know about wiring up a one wire alternator, it, it's pretty cool. Um, especially on the Toyota truck. So we'll get to that program after a minute. But I don't have Larry the camera guy here with me again as always. And I'm working on my GoPro. I have a GoPro, I have two GoPros. Problem is with the GoPro that I'm finding it hard to download to my situation. And I have a camera. I'm trying to learn all this and figure all this out. I'm not too savvy when it comes to the technology of the computer and etc. So bear with me. I'm, once I learn how to edit and twist all the things around, put music behind it, I know I'll have more than just 30 or 31 subscribers. Right? Let's face it. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much not doing, or I'm pretty much doing what all these other guys are doing, but, I, I, <laughs> you know, it's it's knowledge. We're gonna put it down on, uh, not videotape for all your old folks. It's not a videotape. It's called recording now. We're recording, not videotape, beta. It's not a beta situation. 
but yeah, I'm going to try this today's Sunday and uh, it's beautiful here where I'm at and I'm going to try to get out and drive this thing today, but we'll see what happens. I'll turn you back on right after the carburetor swap because there's no way for me to hold my phone up. I don't have a uh, selfie stick with that fancy situation deal, but we'll turn you back on when we get something. And by the way, this thing is gonna get painted this year. It's gonna get painted, okay? Wheels are gonna change. We're gonna put some fancy wheels on there. We're gonna change this whole thing up. What color? I don't know yet. Might be drastic. The interior might, interior is probably gonna change as well. Everything's all red. Everything's gonna change. Life brings a change. And if you stay stagnant too long, that's not a good thing either. So we change things up. All right, guys, we'll be back at you. Stay blessed and don't stress in a jiffy.